Hello. Um, I am going to be talking about something that someone asked me. They sent a message last week. They slid into my DMs um, and they asked me, Vasavi, how do you get rid of negative thoughts? And I've been thinking about it for the past week. Um, I had my own negative thoughts to deal with uh, about a few things. And so I didn't want to record a video on how to get rid of negative thoughts when I was dealing with my own. I figured, you know what, it's, um, it's probably better for me to just kind of sit and work through whatever I'm going through right now so that um, when I do record this video, I'm speaking from a place of, hey, I've been there, done that. And now, trust me, I've been through plenty of negative thoughts in my life, um, as you may or may not know. So I am a licensed therapist, and I was also diagnosed with a mood disorder when I was 20. So I've been living with this for about a hot, almost 20 years, right? Like 17 years of my life. Um, and so if there's one thing that I am excellent at, it is dealing with the mind, my mind. And now, other, you know, other people's minds too, because I, I understand the plight of, of of uh, human beings and what we go through. So I wrote down three quick steps. I know it's not that easy, but it is simple. When you follow this and you put it on repeat, how to get rid of negative thoughts. The first thing that I wanna say is, um, you're not gonna ever be able to get rid of your negative thoughts. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody tells you. That is the nature of our mind. That is the nature of our ego. However, you can quiet it and you can train yourself to deal with it. So I always say, don't get rid of it, get used to it get used to it and you'll become stronger. Um, it's like an annoying family member that you can't get rid of, but you just kind of get used to them and you're like, whatever, and it no longer has an effect on you. So think about that family member or that friend in your life that's like super annoying and just super negative. Um, you can't like kill them. You can't get them out of your life, especially if they're, if they are important to you, right? So your mind is important to you. You do need your mind to function and you are going to have negative thoughts, but the goal here is not to say like, I don't ever want to have a mind or get rid of, I'm going to get rid of these negative thoughts. They're there for a reason. And if you look at it that way, that, that your negative thoughts do challenge you, um, you start to get used to them. You can start to, um, uh, deal with them a little differently. Like you would an annoying family member or friend, and you could start having a different relationship, right? So the first thing is you're never going to get rid of it. So just like, Right out, right, right out the gate, right? Get used to it. And once you do that, right? So let's take an example. Let's take the negative thought or the critical thought that says you're fat, okay? This is like talking to mostly all my women out there that I know in some shape or form you've dealt with this where you've heard this voice that's telling you like you're fat, you don't have a thigh gap, you have cellulite, you have this. Okay, great, negative thought, right? Get used to it because I, I feel like until you really get to a level of uh, true affection for your body, which can take a lifetime, um, or it can it can be rather simple. If you learn to, number two, right? First one was get used to it. Like you're gonna hear that voice in your head, especially if, you're, if you've always dealt with kind of beating yourself up and being hypercritical like I am. Um, so number two is to have a boundary, set a standard, right? So, um, I wanna go back really quick though. When I ever hear a negative voice in my head, I say it out loud. Please try it, it works. So like I'll say out loud like, what, I'm fat? You think I'm fat? You meaning my mind, not like me, Vasavi, the logical, the logical being. I'm like, what, you think I'm fat? So I hear it, I hear myself saying it. I'm like, that's bullshit. Then you set a standard, right? And so the standard is, am I gonna accept this or am I not gonna accept it, right? If you're gonna accept yourself, talking to yourself this way, I got some harsh news for you. There's a lot of inner work to be done because if you're going to tolerate you talking to yourself in a way that is so unkind, guess what? You're going to attract and be attracted to people who are also going to talk to you in that way and have zero respect for you because you don't have any respect for yourself and you don't have standards for yourself. How do I know this? Because I was in a relationship for four years with someone who disrespected me beyond belief because I thought I deserved it and I thought I allowed it, which I did allow, but I thought that like I couldn't do any better, right? These are thoughts in our heads that we think, these are beliefs that we have that we're believing. So set a standard. Am I gonna tolerate this? If it's a yes, I highly suggest you do some inner work. So seek out a therapist, join a support group around this, right? Do some meditation, get clear, but like really seeking out the support of someone such as a licensed therapist as myself is something that I'm going to highly recommend as someone who is not only is not only a therapist, but has also been in therapy, right? So I've done both. Both. If you're not gonna, if you're not going to accept this, and you're like, you know what? 
I don't need this bullshit. Don't call me fat, right? That was the example. Um, if, if that's not something you say, it could be like, you're not smart enough. You're not good enough. You're not talented enough. You're not confident enough. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not, you know what I mean? Just it comes in so many sh forms of guilt, guilt tripping and manipulation of ourselves and making ourselves feel bad, but you got to set a standard and you got to say, I'm not going to tolerate this. Awesome. You're on the right track. If you're not going to tolerate it, then what? Then you're going to be like, okay, what do I want to say to myself? What is something that I'm going to say to myself instead, instead of I'm fat, right? Like, let's say you've gained some weight and you're not happy with the way you look. Okay. God, I get that. <laughs> I get it wholeheartedly. I've gained some weight. I'm not the happiest. I would say I'm not the most satisfied, but guess what? I'm doing something about it every single day. I watch what I eat. I'm being, but I don't deprive myself. I move my body every single day. So I'm, I've set the standard that I'm not going to tolerate that from myself. And I'm going to replace that thought with you know what? You're not fat. You're doing something about your body every day. You're waking up in the morning and you're going to boot camp or you're going for a walk or you're going to yoga, whatever it is that you're doing. So replace it with what is positive. Okay. So maybe you're not working out and maybe you're like, you know what? I'm not fat. I am beautiful as I am. Now you may not believe it at first, but anything is better than that negative voice in your head. So find something that works for you that you start to believe, um, that you can start to believe. Um, I just repeated myself twice. I don't, I don't know why. But find something that, that you will start to believe. Okay? And then um, lastly is to take action. Because I believe that action is the very thing that's going to keep you from feeling crappy about yourself, right? So for me, I've told myself that I'm fat and I replaced it. I, I set a standard. I said, I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm going to say something better. So I look in the mirror naked. Okay, true, true story. And I'm like, you know what? You have great shoulders. Like, great shoulders. Look at those bad boys. And like, you have great legs and you have pretty feet. You have a beautiful face. You have this, like I point out what's like, what's like going for me. Um, because then that negative voice becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and irrelevant. Okay. And, um, taking action for me shows to me that I'm doing something about it. Right. So this is not about pushing yourself to do something you don't want to do. But guess what? If you don't like something about yourself, and this, this involves having self-awareness, it's not about like needing to be perfect. But if there's an aspect of yourself that you don't like and it's no longer serving you, if, if having 30 extra pounds on you is no longer serving you, or you trying to control other people is no longer serving you, or you um, not being able to ask for help because you're too prideful, if that kind of behavior is not serving you, that action that you're going to take to completely just shift that perspective and, you know, just shift the way that you look at yourself and, and, and life and you in relation to other people is, is going to make you or break you. So taking action is the last step. And I, it, it is, if, if you don't like something, change it. Right. But I know it's hard to go from not liking something to changing it because we have all these voices in our head. And that's why you got to like, get used to it. You have to say it out loud. You got to set that standard for yourself. Like, I'm not going to put up with this. You need to challenge that belief and be like, I'm not this, or I'm not that I'm doing this. I'm doing the best that I can. And it's about being honest with yourself, right? Because like, I can't like a few months ago, I couldn't say to myself, I'm doing the best that I can. When, when it came to my weight, when I didn't move my body at all, I was not doing the best that I can. Like, that's the truth, right? So like, be honest with yourself about where you're at. It's not a time for you to beat yourself up. It's a time for you to get real with yourself. Quiet that voice in your head. Say something to yourself that's going to motivate you or, or kind of get you back on a more positive path and then go take that action. Um, because here's the thing. If you don't control your mind and the thoughts and the beliefs, and if you don't challenge those beliefs, and if you don't challenge those thoughts, it will 100% control you in anything you set your mind out to do. Anything that you set your mind to that you want to do won't happen. You, you could try as much as you want and you may even experience external results like I did, but you'll never be internally fulfilled and that's the truth. And that's how you get rid of, get used to negative thoughts.